This is an astonishing new find. Radiation-eating fungi are thriving on the walls of Chernobyl's reactors. We remember that the Chernobyl plant exploded in um, around the area of Kiev, Ukraine. Amazing how much we've yet to learn. And here we have organisms, an organism that is able not to just live but thrive in a highly irradiated environment, according to IFL Science. From the bubbling hot springs of Yellowstone to the ultra-sterile rooms used to build spacecraft, there's scarcely a place on Earth where life has not somehow managed to survive and even thrive. Life finds a way, a wise man once said, even the walls of a fallen nuclear reactor still beaming with radiation are crawling with an unusual gang of fungus, fungi. In fact, a number of fungi species are known to inhabit this extremely radioactive environment that emerged out of the infamous Chernobyl nuclear disaster of 1986. All in all, scientists have documented around 200 species of 98 genera of fungi, some tougher than others, living around the ruins of the former nuclear power plant. Astonishing! Not just one, but 200 species. Not only do some of these fungi manage to grin and bear the high levels of radiation, a few actually eat the radiation itself. They're known as black fungi or radiotropic fungi. These select few species are armed with melanin, the same pigment in human skin that helps protect from ultraviolet radiation that allows them to convert gamma radiation into chemical energy for growth. It's also thought to help shield themselves from the harmful radiation. Quote, in many commercial nuclear reactors, the radioactive water becomes contaminated with melanotonic organisms with black pigmentation. And nobody really knows what they are doing there. This is what microbiologist Arturo Casaveda, Casadeval Casa of the Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City told Scientific American back in 2007. Nobody knows what they're doing there. Research by Casa Deval and his team found that radiation munching fungi found at Chernobyl, such as Cladosporium spherosperum, spermum, Cryptococcus neopharmans, and Wangelia dermatitis, are able to withstand ionizing radiation approximately 500 times higher than background levels. Furthermore, they actually appear to grow faster in the radiation's presence. Their studies have noted that the fungi point their spores and hi-fi towards the source of radiation as if reaching out for food. Can you imagine that? The fungi collected at the accident site had more melanin than the fungi collected from outside, the exclusion zone, he said. This means the fungi have adapted to the radiation activity, and as many as 20% were found to be radiotropic, meaning they grow towards the radiation. They just love it. The black fungi are quite the travelers as well. Back in 2016, eight species of fungi gathered from Chernobyl traveled to the International Space Station aboard a SpaceX rocket. The mission hoped to understand how these black fungi are able to tolerate such an incredible levels of radiation. The prospect of fungi that thrives in the presence of radiation also raises the idea of using them as a food source for astronauts during long space flights or when we colonize other planets. This is from Tom Hale on IFL Science, it's Unbedded Reality. And we know there's a saying that says, mushrooms are the meat of the poor. The poor eat mushrooms when they don't have meat. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.